Hello everyone, welcome in this video tutorial on drawing of molecular graphics using the diamond crystallographic software. Diamond, a crystal and molecular structure visualization software can be downloaded from this link crystalimpact.com slash diamond. The more related literature can be found in these references. Okay, so let's start with the tutorial part. This is the diamond version 2.1. I am using the version 2.1 for this video tutorial. Just open it and you will find a file, application file named diamond. As I already explained in my one of the previous video, that there is no need to install the diamond version 2.1 it will work without the installation you just need the required file put these required file in a name folder diamond version 2.1 and just double click on the application file and a new window will open up like this diamond version 2.1 now go to file and go to open you can open either an INS file or .res file or .cif file. Any one file will work with the diamond software. Go to open. Suppose I am going to open the .cif file. I am opening the .cif file R1. This is .cif file, crystallographic information file. I am going to select it and just open it. Now you can see the window or background color will change to white from gray to white. You can even choose the black background or any color background of your choice. Now come to the left bottom part of the software. There you can see a number of reference. Just choose this reference, this sorry, not reference, this button, add all atom. Choose the button, add all atoms. Just click on it and you will see the atoms on the screen. Now choose this option here rotation along xy and you can rotate the atoms or molecule in a direction of your choice. There is an other factor enlargement factor by choosing this factor you can enlarge your molecule according to your choice. Then there is other option here shift by choosing the shift option you can move the molecule in the like this. There is other option rotation Z by selecting this option you can rotate your molecule along the Z axis. Okay. Now again go to here there is option fragments. By pressing this fragment button you will connect the atom by chemical bond. Just press it and you can see the all atom are connected by the chemical bonds. Now there may be some uh, unwanted bonds or undesired bond which, uh, which should not be present. You can just uh, select them and you can delete them. For selection, this arrow button will work always. Choose this bond and press delete button on the keyboard. It will delete it. Now I will move the molecule. Yes. Now I know these two bonds should not be present. There is only one bond with this oxygen is present so I have to delete these two bond also I am going to arrow button I am going to select it and then delete it the delete functionality of your keyboard can be used now just move this molecule in a direction where all the known hydrogen bond atom at least can be visible just make it enlarge a little bit then you shift key you can move then enlarge and move now the molecule is i think visible clearly all the known hydrogen and hydrogen atoms are visible now there are certain option here ellipsoid you have to select this option otherwise they will appear as a ball so it is necessary to select this option ellipsoid there is other option Ball and stick, you also choose this button. And there is another option 
depth going this is twice you can either select it or you can unselect it okay now just go to this button select and select your complete molecule now right click go to edit atoms and here there is one option style choose the octant then brush solid solid thickness i generally take this value 0.35 now go to apply and okay now you can see the ellipsoid are now octant added again right click go to edit go to bones and now make the bond a little bit thick you can even individual use the individual option but the thick option is better one i to the generally value 0.03 go to apply and okay now again go to add this time atom level you can even add the bone level also but i am going to add the atom levels here the option is atom symbol that's okay and the formal is fe or atom space one or without space i generally use without space and there is a font option arial bold there are several you can choose any of the font option generally i use bold and typical size is 10 that's okay and press okay now you can see the label now generally we do not label hydrogen so just select the label of hydrogen move somewhere with left mouse key and you can delete by selecting them and pressing the delete button from the keyboard so generally we delete all the label with hydrogen okay so in this way first you can delete the hydrogen label because we do not need the hydrogen label we need the label for only for the non hydrogen atoms okay now just select the respective atom label and move it near the respective atom this is sorry hydrogen so we have to delete it and this is carbon this is oxygen so with left mouse key and you can use the drag option and you can place the respective atom near to the atom like you can even increase or decrease the font size according to your convenience so in this way just by using the left mouse key and drag option you can label all the hydrogen or non hydrogen atom in this way now uh, next option is about the probability here there is option objects there is option thermal ellipsoids the ellipsoid probability is here 20% you can increase it to 30% or 40% or 50% according to your choice but i think present in the present case the probability of 20% is i think enough okay now you can increase the size of font size from the font option menu now the next step is this is copper okay this is oxygen this is nitrogen i think all the atom are labeled go to file and there is option save as diamond file so if you save it as a diamond file then you can start any time from here otherwise you need all the numbering again but you save the diamond file then you can start from this point anytime just go to save and it will save the uh, file in the directory named diamond tutorial with name r1 save it okay now if you go to the directory there is file name r1 then next step is to generate a jpg file or a bitmap file for the publication in scientific journal go to save as there is an option now in the drop down menu bitmap save 
and there are option 150 300 600 600 is the best one and here the 16 and 24 24 is the best one it will give you a resolution corresponding to 8078 into 3683 pixel just go to ok and the file is saved into the directory name r1 now you can see the file will look like this yes here this is your file you can zoom in the pixel are high, very high the picture quality is very nice now you can copy this file from here and you can paste on word or powerpoint of your choice now again go to the figure just select all the molecule with label and there is an option destroy destroy the atom labels uh, now there is one more option in case of uh, coordination compound we generally emphasize on the geometry of the central metal line on its coordination number and coordination geometry just select the atom by pressing the shift key on the keyboard and select these atoms now just go to add there is an option polyhedra you can add the polyhedra to show the geometry or coordination number of the central metal line there is option construct one single polyhedra from selected atoms okay and there is option of design so you can edge the polyhedra edge can be made purple or any other color you want and use central atom main color as the interior color and there is open face front face and open face there are there are the type of polyhedra i generally choose the closed face and brush solid okay and there is option darken back faces and so interior form okay and just press okay and okay now there is polyhedra it will look like this so you can add the polyhedra to emphasize upon the geometry of the central metal ion okay so uh, next option is sometimes we have a disorder in the molecule so it is hard to uh, visualize whether which part belong to which part of the molecule for example if I open a file like this one, K1, open it. Now you can see the molecule is showing disorder. The major part of the molecule is showing disorder. Actually, it is a, an example of full molecule disorder. So, it is very hard to visualize which atom belongs to which part. There are two atoms. We do know, we do not, do not know which atom belongs to part 1, which atom belongs to part 2, similar cases here, there is jumbling of atoms. So, in this case, you can uh, color the bond of one part into the other color. There is an option, suppose you are going to select this bond and there is option edit bonds, you can change the color of interior from black to any other color. For example, I draw the same molecule in different color. I am going to open that file, open, you go to K2, open. Now you can see I have drawn the one part in the green color. Now you can see this benzene ring, this ring and this part belongs to the one disorder part and the other belongs to the second disorder part. Hope it will help and thanks for watching the video.